Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. It is Wednesday, December 2nd, so what I'm going to do is go through your weather that you have for today. I think it'd be easier to do these morning videos where it's just your weather for the for today real quick. Also, I'm going to show you at the end of the video real quick that we actually have some negative temperatures that's moving through the country. So I'll show you that. Uh, we're still a little bit away from that, but it's not, not too far. Time's going pretty quick. So I got it going pretty slow so you can see exactly what's going on with the weather and you see what's going on with the northeast with the rain. But this next system that's going to come through, just like the video I made about Oklahoma and all the rainfall that they're going to be getting in this area, uh, mostly Woodward, it's going to get maybe even up to a foot. But these severe storms are going to be moving all across all week long. Uh, like if we look at just for today, we have this area for the rainfall with this tight area for Texas and Louisiana for a marginal for some severe storms. And as we get into tomorrow, this is going to be shifting further east, and that's going to go all the way to the east coast by the time we get to the third day outlook for what we're going to have. So as it moves, you'll see that this system just pretty much stalls and hovers over there by Oklahoma. That's why it drops a lot of rainfall, uh, snowfall. But this system right here and this system down here is going to be moving eastward, and it's going to be dropping thunderstorms, uh, possible flash flooding for some, especially tomorrow when you get in towards Mississippi. And then as it moves further east, you'll see another line of severe storms that will pop up anywhere from Georgia all the way to North Carolina and Virginia. That would be a severe band, and that's going to be moving east also, probably moving over South Carolina as well. But this is what the storm looks like, and this is uh, tomorrow at Sorry, it is tonight at 6 p.m. This is it's going to be moving pretty quick. It's still going to be in Louisiana in the south, but it's going to be spread out amongst uh, Alabama. But then it's going to start getting together. You see how it gets together around Biloxi. It's got some severe storms also for Alabama, Florida, and then it starts stretching out uh, in a long rain band uh, on the 4th. This is a, uh, tomorrow morning, very early. Sorry, 4th. <laughs> Not tomorrow. It's be Friday. And the band is a pretty good band. You see it going all the way from Georgia all the way to North Carolina and Virginia. So it's a pretty good rain band, and you already got rain already. So it could be some possible flash flooding that come out of that real quick. But if you look at what it does right here in Louisiana, it bursts up. And this is today. This is still 3 p.m. today. This is when the storm gets really good for the snowfall as well. And it cuts right over Oklahoma City. And then as it moves east, you'll see that the storms move uh, into Arkansas. It moves into Mississippi for, for uh, midnight tonight. You're going to be getting some rumbles, especially north. And then as you go into tomorrow uh, afternoon, you'll see that it's still, it was in Louisiana in the south, and it's still rumbling. Not too much in Louisiana, but it's enough of it where it's doing some flooding. And then it's going to move across Florida. Now, this is on the 4th. This is early a.m., and this is Florida, Alabama, Georgia, and it will be moving over to y'all. And then as it goes along, it will be spreading towards uh, Tennessee, South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia. It just spreads all the way up. And this second system will be dropping some snowfall, but that third one is going to do like a drop-down effect. And then it's going to be that two to three feet on that video I made the other day. Now, I want to show you real quick on the temperatures that we do have coming. It is going to be some cold temperatures, and it's it's, it's almost a t it's almost two weeks away. It is a bit away, but the cold temperatures really aren't going to leave. It looks like we're going to have cold temperatures, then we're going to have uh, some, some warm warm mornings in some areas, but for the most part, as see the, as the cold air stays around, but when we go all the way to the 18th, there's a system that starts moving through uh, around the 15th. And all this air that you see moving through, all this is negative temperatures. This is very, very cold air. We're talking negative 5, negative 1 for Indiana, Ohio, negative 1. It's just very cold. Illinois, you even get in on it on West Virginia for negative 1. And the purple is 3 degrees, so it's really not that much difference, uh, or, or at least that much better. But you, if you look at it, you'll see on the 15th, it's a normal pattern for a while. Okay, it's normal pattern, not nothing super cold. Get a little bit in North Dakota, but it goes away. Then we stay regular for a while, like a regular cold, a little kind of mild in the south, but that's because uh, uh, you go back to a positive phase. But then the cold starts leaking in from the north, and it comes in deep. Now, how much more deeper it comes, I would not say, 
I'd say it moves a little further more to the east and the northeast could see us some negative temperatures as well. And y'all do have a storm coming which with a lot of precipitation around that time. So I'll, I'll press play so you can see it as, it as it is today until we get then. But it could be a lot of heavy rain, uh, snowfall for y'all also when that system moves through. So you want to be aware of that. Now, God bless you all. I hope you all have a great day today. Good morning to you. <laughs> Make sure you grab your coffee, eat your breakfast, and you have a good day. Uh, the only thing I can give you as far as uh, anything different than what you can get yourself, which you can probably do this as well, but I want to share the Lord with you, as always. And yesterday was Matthew 10, I'm sorry, Matthew 11. Today is Matthew 12. Amen. Matthew it was a really good chapter. At that time, Jesus went on the Sabbath day th through the corn, and his disciples were, were in a hundred and began to pluck the ears of corn and to eat. But when the Pharisees saw it, they said unto him, Behold, thy, thy disciples do that which is not lawful to do upon the Sabbath day. But he said unto them, Have ye not read what David did when he was in, in hung, hungered, and that they that were with them, how he entered into the house of God and did eat the shoe bread, which was not lawful for him to eat, neither for them which were with him, but, but only for the priest. Or have ye not read in the law how that on the Sabbath day the priest in the temple profane the Sabbath and are blameless? But I say unto you that in this place is one greater than the temple. But if ye had known what this, what this meaneth, I will have mercy and not sacrifice. Ye would not have condemned the, guilt, the guiltless. For the Son of Man is Lord even on the, of the Sabbath day. And when he, he was departed thence, he went into their synagogue. And behold, there was a man which had his hand withered. And he asked him, saying, Is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath days that they might accuse him? And he said unto them, What man shall there be among you that, that shall have one sheep? And if, if it fall into a pit on the Sabbath day, uh, will not lay hold on it and lift it out. How much, how much thus is a man better than a sheep? Wherefore is it lawful to do, to do well on the Sabbath days? Then saith he to the man, Stretch forth thine hand. And he stretched it forth, and it was restored whole, like as the other. Then the Pharisees went out and held a council against him how they might destroy him. But when Jesus knew it, he withdrew himself from thence, and great multitudes followed him. And he healed them all, and, char and charged them that they should not make him known, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, Behold my servant, whom I have chosen, my beloved, in whom my soul is well pleased. I will put my spirit upon him, and he shall shew judgment to the Gentiles. He shall not strive nor cry, neither shall any man hear his voice in the streets, a bruised reed shall, shall he not break, and smoke and flax shall, shall he not quench, till he sent forth judgment unto victory, and in his name shall the Gentiles trust. Then was brought unto him one possessed with the devil, blind and dumb, and he healed him, insomuch that the blind and dumb both spake and saw. And all the people were amazed and said, Is it not the, the son of David? But when the Pharisees heard it, they said, This fellow do doeth not cast out devils, but by Beelzebub, the prince of the devils. And Jesus knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? And if I by Beelzebub cast out devils, by whom do your children cast them out? Therefore they shall be your judges. But if I cast out devils by the Spirit of God, then the kingdom of God is come unto you. Or else how can one enter into the strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he first bind the strong man, and then he will spoil his house? He that is not with me is against me, 
and he that gathereth not with me scattereth abroad. Wherefore I say unto you, all manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men, but the blasphemy against the Holy Ghost shall not be forgiven unto men. And whosoever speaketh a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But whosoever speaketh against the Holy Ghost, it shall not be forgiven him, neither in this world, neither in the world to come. Either make the tree good and his fruit good, or else make the tree corrupt and his fruit corrupt. For the tree is knowledge, the, the tree is known by his fruits. O generation of vipers, how can ye be in evil speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaketh. A good man out of the good treasure of the heart bringeth forth good things. And an evil man out of the evil tre treasure bringeth forth evil things. But I say unto you, that every idle word that, that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. For by the words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. Then certain of the scribes and of the Pharisees answered, saying, Master, we would see a sign from thee? But he answered and said unto them, An evil and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there, there, shall, there shall no sign be given to it, but the sign of the prophet Jonas. For as Jonas was three days and three nights in the whale's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. The men of Nineveh shall rise in judgment with this generation and shall condemn it because they repented at the preaching of Jonas and behold a greater than Jonas is here. The queen of the south shall rise up in the judgment with just this generation and shall condemn it. For she came from the uttermost parts of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And behold, a greater than Solomon is here. When the unclean spirit is gone out of man, he walketh through, through dry places, seeking rest and finding none. Then he saith, I will return into my house from whence I came out. And when, he is, and when he is come, he findeth it empty, swept, and garnished. Then, he, then goeth he, and taketh with him seven other spirits more wicked than himself. And they enter in and dwell there. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. So even so it shall be also unto this wicked generation. While he yet talk to the people behold his mother and his brethren stood without desiring to speak with him then one said unto him behold thy mother and thy brethren stand without desiring to speak with thee but he answered and said unto him that told him who is my mother and who are my brethren and he stretched forth his hand towards his disciples and said behold my mother and my brethren for whomsoever shall do the will of my father which is in heaven, the same is my brother and sister and mother. Amen, guys. Hope you all have a beautiful day today. It is going to be a great day. Just dress up for it. Get prepared. Get prepared for these negative temperatures coming, guys. This is coming soon. All glory does go to God. Amen.